Next, we have our roving reporter segment with Hulda Thompson. Hulda will be spotlighting the first Schenectady Pride Fest. Let's watch this one. Welcome to the Roving Reporter segment of Impact, where we spotlight special events and organizations in and around the Capital Region. This week we are spotlighting the City of Schenectady First Pride Fest. The motivation for uh, creating a Schenectady Pride here in Schenectady, downtown specifically, is because there's so much incredible energy associated with the lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender community that we wanted to bring that to J Street. <laughs> community already here uh, with deep roots in Schenectady. There's a number of LGBT business owners in Schenectady and we really wanted to create an opportunity for folks to come out. The gay community did not disappoint as they came out to support Pride Fest. I'm from Niskiona. Yeah, my name is Marina and this is Zephora. And we think it's wonderful that Schenectady is doing this because it's really important to show the world that there are a lot of gay people in America and we need equal rights and we need to be counted and we're just people like everyone else. Uh, yeah, it's first uh, Schenectady Pride. It's a lot of fun. Good, uh, good growing uh, gay community here and uh, we're all try out to support the community. Local politicians and officials were also out at this event. Uh, we've had folks come in, uh, elected officials come in. Angelica Morris, who's the chair of the Human Rights Commission, was here welcoming guests. We also had Jim Salingo, who's uh, the uh, executive director for the Downtown Schenectady Improvement Corp, was here. Uh, Paul Tonko is wandering around shaking hands as well. He's our uh, U.S. House representative. So we've had a number of folks. Lisa Perrazzo on City Council was here as well. So we've had a number of folks come out. And in, in the feedback that I've gotten from folks who have come out to participate in Schenectady Pride here on J Street today is they're just thrilled that finally there's something here in Schenectady. One of the main event was the Drag Spectacular and these ladies did not disappoint. just celebrating diversity of the community and bringing them out, but also really highlighting what's going on in downtown Schenectady. It's really incredible. The folks at, in charge that are, you know, bringing economic development and infrastructure development in downtown is really incredible. And I wanted to bring the community out so they could see it. Uh, some folks had never been to J Street before or downtown. So this was an ideal opportunity. And I'm so thrilled that we moved ahead and did it. Uh, the J Street Business Association has been incredible. There's a number of LGBT business owners in Schenectady and we really wanted to create an opportunity for folks to come out. Proctors, located at the end of J Street, was one of the participants and they were there promoting Priscilla. 
we're not cross-dressing today, but we're having a lot of fun, and we are helping to promote Priscilla, which is going to be coming to Proctor's on February 12th through the 17th. It's now part of our series, but you can actually, it's a 10-person group, and which is, if you don't have 10 friends, come on. And we're very proud to be part of this tonight. We know it's going to come back next year. It's going to get even bigger, and we'll remain part of it. I'm really glad that Schenectady is having our first gay pride and hopefully it will continue to grow. There's lots of people here, some good drag show. Uh, we got some cabaret coming up later tonight, so we're having a good time here today. We have all kinds of pride celebrations throughout the world as far as Albany and Hudson, locally Albany, Hudson, and New York is tomorrow, New York City is tomorrow. So for Schenectady to actually do the first pride is really something good and about time it actually happens. Gay Pride means a lot to me and I'm sure it means a lot to everybody else. Um, shows that we're coming up from underneath. <laughs> but um, to me, it just means I have more rights and I'm happy with that and I'm happy I can get married. And when we created the Facebook page uh, for Schenectady Pride, we began to put this together. Really, it's something that came together in, in under you know, two months. About six weeks we put this together, and the response we got on Facebook was really amazing. Uh, so many people got involved. We got over 100 likes uh, for the page within two and a half weeks, and most of those people committed to coming and being here tonight. And as you see from the crowd, uh, we had a really great turnout for the first time. Already we've had talk about doing a Pride Parade, a large larger stage on State Street. Uh, folks are really excited about really building on the success of this year. For more information, go to Schenectady Pride on Facebook or check out the Schenectady County Human Rights Commission and go to the LGBT Committee. I am your roving reporter, Hulda Thompson. I hope you're having a wonderful summer. See you next time. Proctors, bringing the best in arts, education, and entertainment.